hello everyone welcome back to my channel once again so today's tutorial is going to focus on the asymmetric uh, uh, neckline you are seeing on the screen right there okay so you can see on the table here i've already drafted my uh, bodies the full bodies front is already here drafted for the asymmetric so whenever you are making an asymmetric body you need your full bodies okay because the necklines are not the same as you can see on the screen you can see that the right neckline has a shoulder and the left one does not have that makes it asymmetric so right here you can see i have my bodies already drafted okay so if you don't know how to draft your bodies i'll be dropping the link on how you can draft your bodies on the description box below so once you have your bodies drafted, all you need to do is to place it on top, okay? You can see I folded my paper. You place the bodies on top, trace it out, and open up your paper with your tracing wheel. You trace out all of these to have the full bodies. I believe you understand what I'm explaining. So if you are new to this channel, please kindly subscribe, turn on your notification bell to receive videos like this each week. Like this video and share to family and friends. Drop your comments on the comment section and your suggestions as well. So now we want to start off this tutorial immediately. So before we build the cape, because our focus is on the cape on that asymmetric, so we want to draft the bodies right now. We will do that very fast, then we jump into the cape. The cape is built on the neckline, okay? Just as we have the asymmetric neckline, that is how the cape is being built. But in the pro process of this tutorial, you'll be learning how to create that cape perfectly. So now the first thing we want to do is to share my shoulder seam line. I'm going to get the midpoint of my shoulder seam line as you can see right now. So this is my shoulder seam line and my natural neckline. So whatever thing I have here, I'm dividing it by two and connecting directly to the bus point. This is my bus point, the bus point line, and this is the, sorry, this is the bus point line, and this is the chest line, okay? Sorry about that. Chest line, bus point, this is under bus point line, and this is the front length or my waist. Okay, so what I have here is exactly what I have here also. So whatever thing I do here, I will do here as well. Okay, so I'll also get the midpoint of this other one. As you can see, I'm sharing to get the midpoint. And I connect it to the bus point. That is the very first thing you do. Okay, so this is the bus that two inches difference because of the front length and the back length end. Uh, differences okay so now the next thing we are going to do we want to tighten the bust line and the first bust line we want to tighten right now is the under bust so we are going to tighten our under bust first and i'll be using this to show you what exactly i'm going to do in here for your under bust tightening you need your under bust measurement round taking your tape around your under bust firmly you divide it by four so this is a quarter. I'll be folding this paper from the center front. This is my center front, okay? That is the center of these bodies. So I'll just fold this paper exactly at the center front. So I'll show you what exactly you need to do. So from the center front on the under bust, remember the line I have here is the under bust line. I'm taking my bust measure, uh, under bust measurement divided by four. I have in here eight three quarter. My under bust is 35 divided by four is a three quarter because this is a, a quarter of the bodies i'm working with so whatever thing i have in here remaining i have 1.25 i'll go i'll share two five here and i'll share the remaining one inch here okay that will give you a perfect under bust tightening so right now i'm going to connect the 0 0.25 that is a quarter of an inch I want you to see how I'm placing my rule. I make sure it touches this, touches the where the dart started and the bust point. I'll also flip it this way, position it in a way it also touches. You can see how I'm slanting my ruler because it needs to touch this point, touch this point, and touch this point as well. 
okay so this is it you can see i've tightened my underboss so all i'm going to do i'm going to return it back to where did that started like this and like that so we are done tightening our underboss so exactly what i did in here i'm going to do it the other way once i open up my paper so let me quickly do that all right people so right now you can see i've tightened the bust uh, the boat under bust right now so the next thing is to go to the upper bust tightening so i'm using a princess dart for the part that is shoulder i'm using a a, a an upper bust dart for the part that is asymmetric okay so right now the first thing i want to do for the princess princess that is to take the measurement of my armhole i'm taking everything and i'll find the midpoint so here i have a um, ten and a half divide by two i have in here a uh, five and a half okay so i'll connect the five and a half with my ruler like this okay but i always like coming down by one inch so it sits very well okay or maybe half an inch so you can also connect at the half uh, the half uh, um, armhole divide by two whichever way you have still have a good princess that so i'm connecting and you can see i extended by one inch so this one inch extension is for my accommodation of the princess that once it's been sewn so I'm going to reconnect my armhole right now, as you can see, okay? So I have my princess that at this point. Then coming over to this point, the first thing I want to determine, I want to determine the neckline I'm working with. So the neckline I'm going to work with right now, this is my shoulder seam line. And from this part, from this point, I'm going to measure from my armhole coming inwards at three inches. So I just need three inches from this point to this point so once that is done that is where i'm going to connect my neckline this is the mid armhole as you can see so i will come up from the mid armhole by half an inch at this point and then i'm going to connect my neckline okay so from the center front also i'll come down by one inch so i'm going to connect this point three inches to one inch and half an inch i came up with so I'll just position my pattern master in a way I can have a good connection of my neckline. Okay, so I'll keep pushing my rule from that point till it aligns appropriately. Okay, so I'll just place it in a way I have a good neckline. So now I have my neckline for this particular uh, dress. So the next thing I want to do now, I would want to also use an upper bust, okay? So um, the, since I've gotten my neckline, so this is the neckline for this particular upper bust. So I'm going to go in by 0 0.75. I'll be changing my marker for that. From this point, I'll go by 3 quarter and from here, 3 quarter. To tighten that upper bust so I'll, I'm taking everything you can see how I place my rule okay from here to here to that point and I'll flip my ruler like this to that point as well okay so now I've tightened the upper bust okay so this shaded area of the darts are going to be cut off we don't need them okay we don't need them we are going to cut all of them off as i mark them so now before we cut off we we are done tightening all our busts okay so next thing we want to do right now right away i'm going to create the cape so to create that cape we have two capes in there one is made of ankara and is overlaying the, the one that is plain so since it is like that i'm going to create the first cape so the first cape is the one made of ankara that is lying on top okay or uh, let me create the second cape first i'll be using my green marker for the second cape so for the second cape the first thing i'm going to do 
I will come in from here. Okay, I will come in from here to here at 0 0.75. That is three quarter of an inch. And once that is done, I will come in, I will take the width of that cape as one inch. So from here to here is one inch. Now I'm going to come from the neckline, the original neckline by half an inch. You can see I came in by one inch. From the center front, I come down by half an inch. And from the, the neckline on the red marker, I came down by another half an inch. So that is the first neckline I want to create. And I will be connecting it right now. Can you see? I've connected it right now. And I'll also take it from that point to connect with this other half an inch like this. All right, so this is going to be the second cape, okay? The, the one on the green marker is the second cape. Why the one on the red marker is going to overlay the second cape, okay? Which is the first cape. So once I've gotten this, uh, the base of the second cape right now on the green marker right now, so remember I have this cape width as one inch at this point. From here to here is one inch. Now I'm going to come down from here to here at two inches. From here to here at two inches. Then I'll connect the shape of that cape I have in there. So I'll just keep blending till I get the shape of the cape I actually want at that point. Can you see that? So now once this is done, okay, this is cape two. So once that is done, from this point, I'm going to come angle my, my tape at four and a half inches. So you can see I angle the cape because it's not straight at four and a half inches. And then from this point, I'm going to connect to this point. So I will place my ruler to give me the shape of the cape I'm seeing on the screen. Okay, so once that is done, you can see we've created the cape. So this is cape 2. And this cape 2, we are going to trace it out on these bodies before we cut our bodies. So right now, we want to go back to cape 1, which is the one we started already and the one that will overlay the second cape. So now, I'm going to also start from this green line to create my cape 2. So I'm creating my cape 2 right now, following what I have here at 1.25, sorry, 1 inch, 1 inch, as I'm coming, I'm increasing it like that, okay? So I'm going to follow exactly what I have here, the shape I have in here, which I made, I will just take it to that point to touch these points okay like this starting all the way from here so i'm trying to create the next cape okay so from this one from the center front here i'll just come down and blend up by 1.25 just trying to get this cape to the shape it's supposed to be okay so now I will come over to this point and I will angle my, my tape again and measure 3 inches. I have this at 3 inches as well and I will place my exactly the same way I place this. That is what I am going to use for this so they have the same shape. So I will take it all the way to here and then once I get here. I'll just blend it into this line accordingly, okay? You can see that. So you can also increase your, I have 4.5 and 3 inches. You can also increase your cape if you want it wider. But for the purpose of this tutorial, we are going to make use of these parameters. So this is my cape 1. My cape one so once we are going to trace right now you are going to see how we are going to trace out this cape so i'll be bringing in my tracing 
pepper right now so we can trace the cape accordingly now it's time for us to start tra tracing our cape so i'm going to trace my first cape first the first cape is cape one which is in the uh, made of ankara fabric as you can see on the screen is laying on top of the plain fabric okay so i'm just going to trace out on my tracing paper now i'm tracing out the red cape so i'll just follow the red line accordingly and trace out okay so i'll just come back with my pattern ruler to trace so I'm going to trace exactly the way I created the cape, as you can see. So, all right so this is the this is the cape right now it has been traced so that is cape one cape one so i'm going to take off this and cut accordingly so i'm cutting the cape accordingly I'm cutting following the shape I created for the cape. All right, so our cape one is ready, as you can see. I believe you are seeing it in here. So the cape one is ready. So we are going to place our paper again for cape two. So this is the uh, for cape two. All right. So I'll also trace accordingly exactly the way I created the cape. All right, so we are done, and this is our cape two. Cape number two. So I'll take it off and cut it off accordingly. And now we have our cape.
all right so we are done with our cape so the first cape you are going to lay it on top of the the bodies like this okay that's how you are going to sew it and the second cape will be stitched like this on top okay following the neckline so it's going to be lay like this as you can see so you can see how beautiful it's looking already first and second cape so now it's time for us to start cutting you know the bodies right now so i'm going to cut the bodies from here then i'm cutting through my armhole line and the neckline is from where you are going to stitch the first cape remember this is an asymmetric body as you can see neckline so i'm going to cut okay so once i get here i'll come out here and cut through the new princess that i'm whole line and i'm cutting through the waistline so once this is done right now the next thing we want to do is to close up our bust that so to close up the bust that on both parts I'm going to cut through my waist that. So I'm cutting off my both waist that so I'll be able to close up the boss that. Okay, so I'm cutting off the waist that to the boss point. Okay, so once that is done, it's time for us to uh, close our waist uh, boss that. So you can see me closing the bust that right now and I'll just seal it up. And close up the bust that. You can see that I've closed up the bust that on this part and on the armhole princess that line I'll cut to the And close up as you can see all right so now I can easily cut off through my my darts okay so I'm cutting off this dart remember we don't need this dart I'll cut it off as you can see and then I'll cut through my princess that okay so now this is what we have for the bodies right away. This is how you are going to add your seam allowances accordingly and stitch. So once that is done and you fix your bodies and do whatever you need on the bodies, this part right now will be like this and you are going to place your capes accordingly. So that is my first cape and the second cape. And the first cape okay so once that is done you are going to fix the capes accordingly okay like this like that okay all right so remember we we had them um, uh, 0 0.75 0 0.75 okay so we are supposed to replace it and recreate a uh armhole line so i'll just fill in my paper to uh, replace that line okay please don't forget so we'll be able to balance up our cape so i was supposed to replace it immediately on that uh, neckline okay so i will just add from here 
on the neckline we remove 0 0.75 0 0.75 so i'll just i'll just add 1.5 okay like this then i'll bring it back i'm trying to recreate my okay armhole line okay so i believe you understand what i just did there just trying to recreate and um, add the uh, back what i took away from the darts to avoid shortage okay so that is it people all right so this is it right now and you are going to stitch 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 and we have our capes accordingly we lay the second cape and you lay the first cape on the neckline okay so this is how we come to the end of this tutorial if you love this content please kindly subscribe turn on your notification bell to receive videos like this each week like this video and share to family and friends drop your questions and suggestions your comments on the description box below see you in the next video